Increasing pressure, the FAA faces even more high power opposition over its aviation changes around Baltimore and DC area airports. WJZ's Live of Adore Burnett has been listening to residents' complaints about the constant noise. Now they are getting even more support from Capitol Hill. Have a joy. Vic, good evening to you. At first, it was just residents in that area who were complaining about low flying planes over their neighborhoods. Now they've gathered steam. They have support from Capitol Hill. Living next to an international airport has its ups. Now it's interesting because a lot of the people, as you see, parked here like to see the planes coming down. But also it's downs. But of course, if you don't live here, that's fine. If you live here, maybe another issue. Since the FAA switched to a new system that sends air traffic over the same area instead of spreading planes out, complaints about noise have been flying in. Governor Hogan wants to sue the FAA on behalf of fed up residents. And Maryland lawmakers in Capitol Hill are throwing their support behind that plan. The FAA has not been as responsive as we want. Uh, they met with people in the neighborhood, which we asked them to do. Uh, then they took the recommendations from folks in the neighborhood uh, and collected them, but they've not followed through on them. The FAA changed to the next gen program about two years ago, and one of the stated reasons was for fuel efficiency. The FAA also says next gen uses satellite based navigation to save time, but as people deal with airplane traffic at odd hours. Well, we still hear the roar. We hear mostly at night, you can really hear it. The hope is that the pressure of a lawsuit will force the FAA to reconsider. We have to start somewhere, you know, and um, if that wakes everybody up, so be it. Now, the FAA says it's committed to hearing the community's concerns, and each time we do this story, there are people who say there are benefits to living next to an international airport. Live tonight, Ava Joy Burnett for WJZ. Ava Joy, thank you. Other cities have also sued the FAA over the next gen program. Most recently, an appeals court sided with the city of Phoenix, stating that the agency did not do its due diligence before switching over to the new plan.